Today we're talking about why we should add jump rope into our training. About four months ago I started jumping using a heavy rope and found it a fun and challenging way to get cardio in. People have been doing jump rope for a long time. There's evidence both the ancient Egyptians and Chinese jumped rope. I associate jump rope with two groups, kids on the playground and an athlete like a boxer. A lot of the reasons we'd want to incorporate jump rope into our programs are the same as why a boxer does. First, it develops full body coordination because we time our jump while the upper body is spinning the rope. Our level of coordination improves even more as we begin to incorporate different footwork styles. If you're new, start by jumping with both feet. We can alternate feet in a running manner or boxers do a skip where they jump with one foot and tap the ground with the other. I mainly jump using both feet at the same time, but all these styles are done on the balls of our feet which enable us to stay light and mobile, improving our ability to move quickly with split-second timing like a boxer avoiding a punch. In day-to-day -day life, being light on our feet can keep us from falling when we slip on some ice or help us catch something before it falls off a table. When we think of a boxer doing cardio, we might think of Rocky running through the streets of Philadelphia or on the beach with Apollo Creed, but there are also scenes of him jumping rope. They did a study comparing rope skipping to jogging for improving cardio and found that 10 minutes a day of rope skipping was as efficient as a 30 minute a day program of jogging for improving cardiovascular efficiency. This is partly because jump rope is more of a full body workout than running. You not only have to spin the rope but control it as it spins around you and this involves virtually every muscle of the upper body and the heavier the rope the more strength you need. For legs, you're working calves, hamstrings, glutes, and quads. And in particular, I feel it in the vastus lateralis and the vastus medialis, giving me a great pump in both muscles. How I work the weighted rope training around leg days is I jump in the morning and train legs that evening. But the next day, there's no skipping as my legs cramp up right away. I train my legs twice a week, so that means five days a week I'm able to jump. Skipping is a plyometric exercise. And when you use a heavy rope, you have to jump higher than with a speed rope. This improves bone density, something that if we don't exercise, we lose as we age. It also strengthens the muscles around our knee. Now, if you have a lot of knee trouble or are extremely overweight, you'll want to approach any jumping exercise carefully. When using a heavy jump rope, you'll burn more calories per minute than a speed rope as long as you're jumping at the same pace. Toro bands sell jump ropes and they include two ropes in each package. Each one is a different weight, allowing you to progress your workouts in multiple ways. You can jump faster, higher, or for a longer duration, but you can also switch to a heavier rope. If you're in the market for a set of heavy ropes, I'll leave my affiliate link for $30 off a set of two Toro Band jump ropes in the top comment. When it comes to adding jumping into your training, you have to start where you're at. If you can only do 10 second intervals, then start there and gradually work your way up to a 20 and then 30 second interval. A boxing round is 3 minutes, making an excellent goal for endurance time. I do hit style intervals with the goal of elevating my heart rate to between 80 to 90% of my max. Some examples of a hit workout you could try is Tabata training, where you go as hard as you can for 20 seconds, then rest for 10. You do this for 8 rounds, and if that feels too hard, Start with four and work your way up. Every minute on the minute is where you do a certain number of reps or jumps every minute. Once you've finished the chosen number of repetitions, you rest for the remainder of the minute before beginning again. When you're starting, you can do a relatively low number of jumps per minute and for a few minutes at a time. Then begin to build up the number of reps and total minutes you're exercising. When you're doing weight training and cardio, especially when using HIT training, recovery can become an issue. Watch this video next to learn how to recover faster at any age and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.